binti Nur Hadiah Huda binti Azmi. My metric number is 2019-2016. My part in this assignment is preparation of installation disk. The first part is to create a Windows 10 installation disk. You need to prepare a blank pen drive at least 8 GB beforehand. Step number 1. Download and install Microsoft Windows 10 RSO file on your computer. Read the applicable notice and license terms and click accept. Step number 2. Launch Microsoft Media Creation Tool and choose Create Installation Media for another PC. Click next. Step number 3. Check the recommend language, edition, architecture of the installation and make sure the choices are correct. Then click next. Step number 4. Select the type of installation media to create for Windows 10. We choose ISO file and click next. Choose a location to store ISO file and click next. The media creation tool will start to download and write the required installation files to an ISO file. After finishing download, you will see the result like this. Next, we will move to Rufus. Step number 1, download and install Rufus on your computer. Step number 2, Launch Rufus and it will automatically detect your flash drive. Step number 3, setting the drive properties but you have to make sure you select the right file system type. At boot selection, choose this or ISO image and click on this image selection icon, Windows ISO file which we have downloaded and click open. Then click start. Click OK and let's start the process. After finish the process, your flash drive is becoming a USB DVD and you are done. Hello, my name is Luman Hakim Zohri. Today, I will show you guys how to do a installation of a virtual machine using a VMware workstation. First and foremost, go to the Google and search VMware workstation. Then, after the result appear, just choose 
Windows VM Workstation Pro In this page just scroll and download try workstation 50.5 pro then scroll down and download for windows after finish downloading then click the file right click and run as administrator and after that it will show like this just click yes wait a few minutes and it will show like this next just click next tick I accept and click next Okay, uh, ignore this and click next. Also, click next and next again. After that, just install it and wait for a few minutes until the installation is done. After it's done, just click finish. Then find the VMware workstation and double click. For this, I will take this option because I want to use it for free and it's a trial version. After click this item, just click continue then click yes and it's finished okay then the VMware is already already installed in this PC now we in the VMware workstation and we must create a new virtual machine For this option, we can choose a custom advanced and click next. For this option, just a default setting and click next. And uh, I will install the operating system later. Just use, just click this this item and next. For this option, I want to use Microsoft Windows and click next. And this we can rename it, but for me, I will just it in a default setting and click next. This also leave it at a default setting and click next. Also next and next for this option we must use uh, this address NAT for a best uh, for a best network and click next also click next and click next and click next For this, uh, it recommended choose this. Store a virtual disk as a single file because it will give us a better performance. And after choose this option, just click next. Also next. Then it finish. And it will show like this. This is the information that we choose from. After that, we must click Edit Visual Machine Setting. 
and click CD DVD setup and click use ISO image file and find it and find where the ISO file is click this and open also click connect or uh, add power on and click ok after that just click this button and lastly it will show like this Hello, my name is Muhammad Zuni and my matrix number is 2019423342 and in this assignment, I am doing part 3 which is installing operating system Ok, and the boot manager This is the boot manager So, choose the EFI and VMware and you VMware, Virtual SATA Enter so press any key to boot from DVD. Now so okay, now in this setup if you want to change your language you can change if you and if you want to change your time and keyboard you can change or if you did not want to change it you can click next and use the uh, setup so click next so in this section what you do is just click install now so wait it to loading next is next is the product key if you have the product key you can enter it otherwise you just click this i don't have the product key so click it okay in this setup you can choose your windows 10 so I choose the Windows 10 Pro in this one and click enter on next. So this is the license term. If you want to read it, you can read it. If you did not want, you can just click accept here and next. So in now they give they give a two, two option which is upgrade and custom. So I recommend you to select second because we are booting from USB so we click the second option ok now this is the partition process make sure if you want to do a partition you must do it very careful because if you make a mistake it will delete all of your data and it can be recovered so I will show you the step to make a partition process this is the partition process what you need to do is click this and click new so you just change the number to change the number and click apply Okay. So
So this is the partition. So go to it is happen after you make a partition. So click the drive zero and allocate space and click new. So it is a number. Just click apply. Okay, now you can choose the partition for and just select and click next okay. wait okay in this okay now what you need to do is just wait for it to settle its installing process Okay, now our window is ready to run. Let's see what we what will happen. Now what you need to do is choose your region. So I will find uh, my region which is Malaysia. Okay, this Malaysia, Malaysia and enter. Okay, wait to take a moment. Now you can choose your keyboard like out. Basically, we just choose new S and enter. If you want to add keyboard, out, just add. So next, next, next. Basically, enter. Now you can set up for if you want for personal use, you can set up for personal use or for if you have organization and you want to set up for organization, you choose set up for organization. So I just use for personal use and enter. Now, so in Microsoft, if you have the account, you now if you have Microsoft account, you can sign in, or if you did not have, you can create one. Now, create your pin. Just click enter. So you can set up your pin.
Die Ente. Okay, es. For the previous step, if you didn't want to insert a Microsoft account and pin, you can just uh, you can just press do it later or click next. Now you can choose your privacy setting. Just click accept. So, seems like our OS almost done. So it will take us several minutes. And finally, our window is ready to use. So you can click. So now your window is ready to use. Assalamualaikum and hello. My name is Nodiana binti Mohta. My metric card number is 20192182288. My part in this is showing desktop icon, change wallpaper, show how to install device drivers, perform this partition and set up virtual memory. So now I'm gonna show you my desktop icon after I install Windows 10. So I'm gonna show you my recycle bin. So currently this is my recycle bin after I install Windows 10. Then click this PC. Then click network. So move on to document. Click document. As you can see, my document is empty. Okay, for now, type in control panel. Click control panel. So, this is my control panel. So, now I'm going to show you how to change your wallpaper of desktop background. First, search your ITM logo in internet and click whatever pictures of your ITM logo that you like. Open File Explore and click this picture. After that, click Set as Desktop Background. So now it's done. My desktop wallpaper has changed to your ITM logo. So now I'm going to show you how to install device driver. Then at the start button, type device manager, click device manager. Okay, first click this audio input and output. Click microphone. update driver to, to install this bag then click this speaker high definition audio device 
and click driver click driver update because uh, we have installed this before so we just have to click search automatic for driver and you just gonna do the next bluetooth computer disk driver display adapter dvd cd room drive human interface device ide ata and others like usual like i did earlier okay next all this this driver you can do like I do earlier you have to update it because uh, you just install it before right for now I'm going to show you how you can create partition on your Windows 10 operating system on your hard drive first Go to your start menu. Click File Explore. Then on the left hand side, you just need to right click on this PC. Choose Manage. It's going to open this kind of computer management windows. So you need to go to the storage section and click this management. So this this management section is going to look like this and it's going to show you your disk and this is will be able to see a system reserve memory. Then you will be able to see your C drive which is the main drive in your case it can be another drive name it's the biggest memory drive in your system so for example I want to partition this C drive so I will right click on this C drive so right click this C drive and then choose shrink volume it takes some time so it says query volume for available shrink space please wait so you just need to wait your computer is not frozen or anything you just need to wait that this manager is querying volume for available space now you will be able to see this kind of window so on the top it says shrink C and then it says total size before shrink in MB so everything which is shown here is in megabytes so I have around 256 gigabyte of memory size of available shrink space is this one So here in third section, which is enter amount of space to shrink in megabytes, right? And this much amount of space I can shrink. So what I want is, for example, 142 gigabyte. And I will write here on meg megabyte that have been equal from 142 gig. Just click shrink. Now you can see an allocated space here. So this is amount of you know memory I have allocated to the new partition. Click this unallocated space here and right click on it and just click 
new simple volume and this going to open this kind of volume wizard just click next leave everything as default because we want this much amount of space to be allocated to the partition just click next just click any draft letter you want for your partition then click next so you can see format partition here so just select this option which says the format is volume with the following setting you can label to your partition for example for me is data and whatever you like to it it will show you this kind of interface which is completing the new simple volume wizard and in here just click finish again it's going to take some time then you can see space or partition will be given a new name whichever you have given as a label if you want to check it's work or not then open folder explore now in my folder explore i can see this d drive created so you can save any data you want in this Okay, now I'm going to show you how to upgrade your virtual RAM in a Windows computer of yours. So this is a Windows 10 computer that you just installed and we are going to be doing it today. Click start icon. Type in system. We can see we currently have 2 gig installed, definitely not that much. advanced system setting here on the left side under the advanced tap on the system properties left click on the setting button underneath performance Then click advance, tap again under performance option, then click change under virtual memory. Just uncheck automatic manage paging file size for all drivers so this will allow you to customize our size so click on custom size and now Now using the information we have in our system, we can see we have 2 gb of RAM installed. I'm gonna open up calculator on the computer but you can just do it in your head if you want more fast.
Okay, next, take the install RAM value and gigabyte multiply it by 1024 to get the equivalent value in megabyte. And we are going to multiply this number that we get after all that by 1.5. This is what I will consider the safe amount of that virtual memory that we are going to a lot of for any computer. I have 2 gigabyte, so I will multiply this number by 2 if you have 4 multiply number by 4. And then once you have that number multiply that by 1.5 and I get 3072 megabyte I can put in here. Whatever number you get, tie it in to both initial size and maximum size boxes. Then, click on set. So this is after restart and if you see the system information we can see that it's nothing changed that I have 2 GB of install memory. And if you open up the system information window so you actually just type in run and type M S I N F O 32 and then enter so it will come up with system information windows and we can see total virtual memory that we have set up early hello my name is Zul Aisha Binti Yas, and my metric card number is 2019294432 so, in this new project, I've taken the part of how to create a user account, group account, and how to share a folder. I'm also show how to run a task manager and device manager. So, I'm going to show you how to create a user and group account. First of all, go to the searching space and type user. Click add, edit, or remove. Then click add someone and wait for a while. This gonna appears in the screen. It's depend on you to write it or not. I choose this and click next. Click add a user with a Microsoft account and next. Then, you can enter the username in this term. And also continue to the password. You can also fill this to get you by on this easily. In case one day you're gonna forget the user password. After it is done, you can click next. Next. Open the control panel 
and go to the user account. Click change account type. After that, click on user 2 and choose change the account type. Change it to Administrator and click this. You can close the all the tabs and continue to the next tabs. The next step is how to share a folder. Firstly, Go to the desktop and create a new folder. After the rename is done, right click and choose Give Access To. You may click a select specific people. In this part, you can choose whoever you are going to share the folder. Add to the list and click share. Now the folder is available to sharing with the other user. Next, I'm going to show you how to run a task manager. Go to the button of desktop and get a right click. Click this. It is how the task manager shown. Close the tabs and right click on this PC. Properties. You can choose change setting and click change. In this display, you can rename the computer name as well as you want and make sure you click the work group in selection of member and click ok when you custom this go to advanced setting choose advanced bar and choose the program and change Don't forget to unclick on this notice. Choose as custom sizes. You may use this initial size and maximum size. Don't forget to set and click OK. After it's done, you may close all the tabs. In the last part, I'm going to show you how to run a device manager. First of all, search system information at the search space. Open it and this is how the display is shown. There is so many selection of the system that you can choose to run the device manager on it. 